Tonight, for the second time in the last eight days, police are looking for an escapee from the Blackburn Correctional Complex in Lexington. Corrections leaders say 26 year old Justin Kando walked away from Blackburn this afternoon. He was serving time for robbery and wanton endangerment. New at 11, Monique Blair talks to a family living nearby who says these escapes are happening too often and it's been frightening to them. We're scared around here. And it's ridiculous that my son, newborn son, is with my wife at the house. With prisoners on the loose. From 2010 to 2014, an average of five inmates walked away from the Blackburn Correctional Complex each year. So far in 2015, seven inmates have walked away from the complex. That data isn't sitting well with Adam and Andrea Brones, whose backyard backs up to the complex property. We knew what we were getting into, I suppose. There's a, a prison here. We didn't have the, any idea that it would be this numerous. Right now, a six foot wooden fence is the only thing separating the inmates from freedom. The Department of Corrections says Canada was serving a 15 year sentence for convictions of robbery and wanton endangerment out of McCreary County. I think if he has a history of it, he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? So I'm thinking a repeat offender, is he going to take my wife? Is he going to hold my, my son at ransom? According to Blackburn's website, their mission statement states in part the primary emphasis is on security and control. But Barone says the prison is failing to meet that mission. Warden Steve Haney has failed us. If the primary mission of Blackburn is, is security and control, he's failing the community. In June, Warden Haney told us there had been an effort to make the prison more secure by adding additional security cameras and locking dorms after the 9 p.m. head count. In Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. Corrections leaders tell us that Justin Canada would have been eligible for parole in a year.